between like when the money gets low or lack thereof, come here and have a decent meal. It's a big help. It's a big help. Hello, my name is Bobby Miller. I'm a volunteer at the Emeryville Citizens Assistance Program, also known as ECAP. We service approximately 270 people daily, six days a week. Out of that 270 people, they're getting a lot of people go out of here with 35, 40 pounds of food. ECAP does not confine herself just to Emeryville. We service everybody. Presently, there are over 70 homeless encampments in Oakland alone. ECAP's philosophy and feeling is, if you come to us, you must need help. ECAP was never a place where it had to be under scrutiny to get food. That's further getting to the people that need it, and, and it helps them and it, it helps us. And I'm religious, I believe in, in a higher power, and in that process our higher power is always provided, and we've always had the food. <laughs> so it's worked out great. We're so happy and we remember some of the people who came through who were so glad to get some help and we knew that their family was not going to have dinner that night if they didn't get some help. And those experiences make it all worthwhile. We're all volunteers. All of the people that come and volunteer are just that. No one is, is paid, but everybody is dedicated to helping the public. I volunteer here just to give back to the community. I've been here all my life. I just do it from my heart, you know? Just, if I want to help, so I want somebody to help me, you know? Once I retire, I promised myself I would come down here and retire and help people to get food every day because God would want me to feed his church. It gives me as much pleasure as I work here. You know, when, even when it rains, we still get this food out to these people. And I feel so good about it because it's, it's we all together. My sister, Nellie Hannon, had the compassion and the feeling for people in need. In about 1985, she managed to get some donations of food and she opened up her garage and people would come by and whatever she had, she would give it to them. And that was the meager beginnings of, of ECAP. We've increased by at least tenfold to the point that now ECAP is distributing 25 plus tons of food weekly. Well, we're raising, raising money to help us with operational expenses. As example, this year, I've paid out over $2,000 just getting the freezer fixed. With COVID, mask, and gloves, these are extra expenses that we didn't have to bear before COVID. And there are plans in the works to demolish all three buildings here. So we have to have funds to help us make that move. So we're gonna have tremendous needs coming up here real soon. I had a goal of, of, of distributing a thousand turkeys for Thanksgiving. And if we can raise money, uh, we can buy more turkeys. Due to the COVID, we've had to change our way of life and, and people need a, a breath of fresh air and a chance to at least enjoy something that they're used to. And if there's a way that we could get more food and more turkeys, uh, it would make it so that more families would be able to enjoy their regular Thanksgiving meal. Our experience is over the last uh, few months especially, uh, there are more and more homeless people every day and more and more people needing help every day. We need people to donate if we're able to get a cash donation it will help us be successful in reaching hundreds of people Thanksgiving for a good Thanksgiving dinner. So please help.